hello guys in this chapter of the tutorial i'm going to show you how you can create a smooth butterly camera movement in adobe after effect i'm going to keep this simple without any coding no complication just simple procedure so i'm going to use the scene from the last chapter where we did the scene build up if you have not watched that one click on the card above so that you can watch that one then you build your scene and then come back to join us so now we need to switch this again to double view and make sure one of the view is from the top views now here on the top view on the timeline you got to right click go to new and create a new camera so we're going to leave it to 35 mm so we'll do so now right click on your timeline again go to new and then create a null object we're going to name this camera control so now make it a 3d layer then select your camera then make it a child of the camera control null object move your time indicator forward in time to about five, four seconds then we're going to select the camera control hit p on your keyboard to reveal the position because this is where we want to end the entire movement first at the first stage of the camera animation so we're going to set a keyframe for this then we'll come back to zero or about one second backward in time so we're going to select this pull out then we're going to move this all object we're going to move it across the camera let it have it pass everything until it gets to the logo so at this point it's okay so what we're going to do now is to select all this keyframe hit f now on your keyboard to easy ease switch the timeline to graph editor select this last keyframe right here and pull in the graph like this 100 percent this curve is okay so if you preview now this is going to give us our first camera movement now magnet from the logo animates and create his video using after effect beautiful so this is how we begin so if you preview this one now this is what you got and this is where the real trick starts from for example if i want to start moving the camera maybe left to right so that i can get a smooth movement so if you select the camera controller hit you on your keyboard you will see the keyframes so you may have to come forward here create keyframes so now you see we have added a keyframe so that the camera after zooming out to the subject right here it can now then move to left you can see that it took time to start moving to this place although it is still very smooth but if you want to start moving it back to the left or to the right using this same controller now you will not be able to get that fluid smooth butterly camera movement so how do you do that this is where the tricks come in so i'm gonna go to the last keyframe right here so i'm just gonna move it a bit to this point maybe it's supposed to be here maybe the first pop-up is supposed to be on the right side of the screen okay so now instead of using this one now to move it to the left again i'm gonna right click on my timeline create a new key free uh, sorry create a new null object you see that so i'm gonna make it 3d making it a 3d layer then i'll select the first camera controller and make it a child of the new null object make sure you rename everything to keep everything organized so now if i come back right here you see it is now a child of that so if i come back right here I will set a keyframe for the position as well. I will select the new null object, hit P on the keyboard, set a keyframe, then move forward in time. I'm going to keep expanding this preview limit. So I'll move to about nine seconds forward in time and then move it to the right. So I'm going to select the two keyframes, then hit F9 on the keyboard to easy ease. So I'll go into the graph editor and then edit the curves like this you see that the, the the way you edit this speed graph this is a speed graph if you don't have it like this you need to right click 
then activate the edit speed graph right here so the way you edit these curves also determine how smooth it is it all depends on the kind of movement if it is fast smooth or whatever you want to achieve but what you want to achieve now is a fluid android like uh, camera movement so close this so if you preview now you will see the effect this has You see how fluid that movement is. If we were to add the keyframe on the same layer, you're not going to have that butterly fluid Android smooth kind of movement. So in each movement you create, you create a new null object, parent the last one and make it a child of the new one, create your new keyframe and make sure you start the animation before the end of the previous keyframe. That way it is going to continue give you an Android fluid camera movement. This is just just a basic trick. Forget all the tutorial you have watched where they are telling you enter this code, enter this, enter that. This is just simple method to achieve a fluid camera movement. All you need to do now, if you want to make this more complex, you add more pop-ups as the camera moves to the left, to the right, you add more pop-ups. I'm going to do that quickly and show you how it looks like. You can also add additional movement to all of these elements. That way you create a complex fluid movement in Adobe After Effects if you really want to animate like magnet media. So after adding more elements, more pop-up when the camera is moving left to right, this is what you get. You can make it more exciting than this and also delay the camera movement as needed. You can see what I did to the logo there, adding a light sweep and then a radial fast blur. So this is how to animate a butterly put camera animation right inside the Adobe After Effect. Now, in the next chapter, I'm going to show you how you can play around with colors like Magnet Media does in his videos. I'm going to use the same project file. If you want to get it, follow the link in the description and you will get it. If this type of animation excites you, you can watch the next tutorial here. It will dive deeper into more style to make animation and get you going like a professional. So until I see you again on the next one, my name is SSB Otaro for Motion Digit Studios.